Coming into my first elk hunt ever, I had high expectations. During the previous year, I had a decent amount of time to hunt and was able to find great bulls throughout the seasons. My summer consisted of work and archery. Before the hunt and before school, I spent many hours in the woods searching for something to put a tag on once September rolled around. Right before school, I was able to secure a job, but combined with school as well as running the archery club and team at my university, I found myself with almost no time to hunt. My expectations and goals for the hunt dropped rapidly with a lack of time, and I was forced to find new hunting territory that was close to home. I was able to sneak out before class on three mornings and one afternoon before I managed to get the last Sunday of the season off of work. That day off proved to be one of the luckier days in the woods that I have ever experienced. Hollywood go. Go. Hey Hollywood. Hey Hollywood go. Go. I wasn't even paying attention. I, <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. I just saw antlers. Dude, I thought he had this right there. I'm like, oh. All right, we literally just sat down, heard a bugle, and the bugle was probably a mile away or more. I don't Easy. even know if you heard it. No, I was texting. We heard this panting. We thought a freaking dog was coming after us because there had been sheep in here. So we heard this panting coming down the hill. Dave over here freaking sees the legs of an elk this bull comes in, it's probably 25 yards right there. That's like 15. 15, <laughs> 15 yards. <laughs> Just doubled down with Steve right now. <laughs> Last weekend of the hunt, pulled it out. <laughs> oh Bam, right here. That's where he went up. And he went right down that trail. Right down there somewhere. Covered in blood. Lots of blood. Deep blood. Still wet. Crash. 
He's right there, guys. <laughs> See that big boy. Flip him around. There we go. Holy cow, what, what a series of events. So my buddy Steve over here literally shot one a few hours ago. But uh, after we got his all gutted out and cleaned up back to camp, we came out here where we've been, we've been finding a big bull every day. He'd bugle right over here on the other side of the canyon of us. We came in here, sat up on the saddle, hoping to figure out where he's bugling from, trying to get in front of him and his cows for the night. And we get to where we're listening for bugles and we hear this noise coming down the hill right above us. This bull comes rushing in, panting, wheezing, right into 15 yards, 15 yards on the dot, and um, drew back. He stopped behind a tree. We were, we were a little bit worried he had, had us pinned. Stepped out, shot him, high lungs. He's traveled a total of 90, maybe 100 yards from where we shot him, right over here. Here he is. Now the hard work begins. Check it out now. I work the pen to make the ink transform on any particular surface the pen lands on. I care if it's hands on. What's the beef? The coolie high.